so the experiment is pulse amplitude modulation so in this we are going to use the bjt bc147 npn transistor we have emitter base and the collector terminals so from the emitter terminal we are connecting a 10 kilo ohms resistor and uh, the sampling frequency or the carrier frequency it is a high frequency signal which is lying in the range between 0 to 100 kilohertz so we can set around 10 kilohertz range for the carrier signal and which is a pulse this is a pulse and the amplitude it is set around 5 volt peak to peak and the base connection we are connecting a 1 kilo ohms resistance and from the base another 22 kilo ohms resistance to the ground and uh, the message signal it is set as a low frequency signal the frequency range is 1 kilohertz the amplitude range is 3 volt peak to peak so see that the message signal frequency uh, the amplitude is lesser than the carrier so that the modulation index is less than 1 the collector resistance is 2.2 kilo ohms connected between collector terminal and the VCC this is VCC is uh, taken around 12 volt so this is the general circuit for the pulse amplitude modulation the output is taken at the collector terminal between the collector terminal and the ground the PAM output is the collector between the collector and the ground so we are going to observe a PAM output like this so where the carrier signal it is modulated along with the message so the envelope will be a message and the inside frequency the internal frequency will be the carrier signal so it will be observed in the oscilloscope so now let us uh, see the BC147 transistor configuration so we have to connect see that the flat surface is facing towards you and the leads emitter base collector in the anti-clockwise direction so this is emitter base collector in the anti-clockwise direction so now coming to the breadboard connection <coughs> so we have placed the transistor BC147 emitter base collector connections and we have connected 10 kilo ohms resistance between the emitter terminal the other end of the 10 kilo ohms resistance we have connected the carrier signal positive terminal the carrier signal negative terminal is given to the negative ground and uh, the base connection we have connected 1 kilo ohms resistor the middle one middle pin base connection we have connected one end of 1 kilo ohms the other end of the 1 kilo ohms resistor it is given message signal is connected positive of the message is connected to the other end of 1 kilo ohms resistor the other base connection is 22 kilo ohms so from the base 22 kilo ohms the other end of resistor to the ground and the collector terminal we have connected collector resistance 2.2 kilo ohms one end to the collector the other end to the VCC so the generally we use the top two lines for giving VCC connections and the bottom two lines for giving the ground connections all ground connections so now let us give the message and the carrier and observe the waveforms